Heat number one, ready, go! Here come the Basset Hounds, charging down the Canterbury stretch. Their ears are flopping, their snouts are snorting. Finnegan has the lead. Here's Rufus, along with Georgie Girl. Heat number one is in the books. All righty, the top two to advance to the Bark in the Park from heat number one. Number three, Georgie Girl. And number four, Elvis is in the house. Three and four advance in very controversial fashion. All right, respective owners finding their spots for heat number two. All righty, get ready for heat number two. Ready, go! Here come the Basset Hounds in heat number two. And like a shot, Calvin is demolishing these other Basset Hounds. Well done, Calvin, with a swift turn of speed, destroyed them. Meanwhile, center of the track, here's Jesse. Look at adorable Jesse. Yes! Well done, Jesse. All right, take a look at the replay. This is the most well-bred for speed Basset Hound you'll ever see. This is Calvin, owned by Danny and Andy, with an absolutely spectacular performance. Also advancing six buttons. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Two more Basset Hound races following race number five. A round of applause again for these owners and these Basset Hounds, ladies and gentlemen, making Father's Day a true bark in the park. They're in their spots. Ready, go! Here come the Basset Hounds barreling down the Canterbury stretch. Whoa, number two, Buffy just laid down and submitted. Wow, Stanley is one bad Basset. Stanley wins, Socrates in very philosophical fashion, finishes second. Here's Bowser on the big screen now. Rolling, 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 Bowser. Stanley, owned by Ashley and Eric Larson, advances, as does Socrates, owned by Patty Sin. Look at number two on the big screen. Just laid down to take a nap. Number one, Bowser jumped right on top of that dog. Come on, Bowser, it's family day, man. All righty, heat number four, next two to qualify. Two more of these following race number seven. From a money-making standpoint, don't forget to play that pick five today, it's only 50 cents. 
Chance to win well over $20,000 25 minutes from now. Best day of the season to play that pick five. Don't get stuck in line, make that wager early. Heat number four, ready, go! Here come the big old basset hounds with those ears flopping, and look at Gus. But Gus has been overtaken. Oh no, I'm about to be savage. Number six going after my leg. And number 11, hey, get out of there. I think Patch is one, but I mean, Tansy just came over here and tried to jump on my leg. That was weird. <laughs> Meanwhile, Petunia on the big screen. Rollin', 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 Petunia. I mean, I don't know what the replay looks like, but I've done these dog races for many years and I've never had one try to attack me. Tansy, bad dog. All right, advancing to Bark in the Park. 11 patches owned by Melanie Sue and nine Gus for Carl and Michelle Yancey. Thank you everybody, great job. Race number six, about 20 minutes from now. Bet more, win more. Ready, go! Here they come in heat number five. Great start by Saucy Nugget. Being attacked by Hattie, five and four. Outside of that is Lulu. Here's Millie, very late. Fun finish. Hey, all the way back by the gate. Number one, Mac, just chilling. Take a look at this replay. Four and five pop out like champions. Now 12, Millie chilling out right now, but watch Millie finish. Number five, Saucy Nugget owned by Heidi Zenner and 12, Millie owned by Jen Gallus. We'll see y'all at Bark in the Park. Thrilling finish. And for our final Basset Hound number. Get those phones ready, get those cameras ready. Heat number six. Ready, go! Here come the Basset Hounds, barreling down the Canterbury stretch. It is Miles. Georgina just went after Miles, and Spike takes advantage. Right behind them is Whalen. What a terrific finish! One, two, and seven. Plop together. Number five, Bosco looking for a treat back by the gate. Mabel failed to start, and we got to go to the instant replay to establish the one two. Here we go. Oh, Georgina, full of run, spike, seven. What happens? Oh, one two. The winner, number two, Spike, owned by Brenda Uribe. Also qualifying, number one, Georgina, owned by Brittany Duffy. Canterbury, once again, a round of applause for these dog owners, please. A round of applause, they make this day so much fun. And Bark in the Park, Labor Day.
That will be festive.